Alright, hey, 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 welcome back. Um, this time we're going to be covering Willow Creek. Um, I'm going to do it slightly different because this time we're going to start off with me telling you who we're not going to cover. Because some of it is pretty simple. You know, <laughs> just drop my pixie stick. Anyway, okay, <laughs> so, um, okay first. I'm about ready to fight this game because it's it's giving me issues and it keeps kicking everybody out of their dang houses. Like they don't even live in their houses no more. I think this was the Kim Lewis whoever house. Um I can't remember who stayed there. I think it was the karaoke people people. I don't know. I just moved people into there and they gone and I I don't I don't know. It it keeps kicking people out of their houses. And then it don't give them none of their money back. It just boots them. And then they too poor to buy another house. <sighs> so the game be having me out here giving people money so they can move in they can afford to move into places that they already lived and shouldn't have been kicked out of in the first place. Imagine. Imagine. Doggone game. So anyways, um, like I said, in this, one, this first video, we're going to go over people who we don't really need to talk about. And then we're going to go into, you know, those who there's not much to say. First um, household where there's not really too much to say. Well, first of all, Willow Creek is the home to a couple of stray kids. Like this house here, Felix and Hun. You know, like I said, um, I keep them favorited so that they won't lose their stats and stuff, but they just get to live their life, do what they want to do. You know, being all famous and whatnot. Another one, with the same case over here, got Lino from Stray Kids. Um, same situation. Also, same situation here, because we got Eric Nam staying here, but I literally just built his house Yep, yesterday. As of making this video, I just built his house yesterday and moved him in. So, because I was going to put him on this lot because it was bigger. And I'm like, yeah. I was like, but this one's so cool right here on this part of the street. So, we went there. Um, also, honorable mention that lives in Willow Creek is right here. This is the non-Equestria girl human version of a couple of my little pony characters <laughs> i'm sorry y'all oh, my kid was, was obsessed with my little pony and so i got to be very 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 familiar with my little pony because it started when she was like two so um yeah and i believe if i was in the, the my little pony realm i would probably be Princess Mia More Cadenza, aka Princess Cadence. So she lives there with her prince, shining armor, and a baby, baby flurry heart. And also, there is a Twilight Sparkle. I'm not going to show you them too well because they don't do nothing. They just live there and they go over to New Chris to hit up the library a lot. Other than that, they don't, they don't, they don't do much. They just live in their own bubble. Also, they're another one of the families that the gang forced out of their house that I actually moved them into. I made them to move into that house after I made it. Um, I love that house. Um, <laughs> it's another one of those houses that I got that I decided to share on my, on like through the Sims with my EA cap in the uh, EA account in the gallery, of course. You know, this fun place here. Of course, I'm never connected. Of course. Of course. Stop it. Stop it. Although, if you do look at my profile, I have not showcased or shared any items. Oh, it sounds broken. All right. Um. No, not that one. Where is that? <laughs> I built this one built too many houses <laughs> but that's one of my favorite things to do which there are videos for that coming if they're not there already because I'm not sure 
what order I'm going to accidentally post this stuff in. Yeah. So, yeah. Just, you know, fun house. It's huge, but it's only got three bedrooms. Mm. I just built it. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I built the house and immediately made them to stick in there. And I'm not good at making people. Like, I'm not good at making people. Like, somebody suggested, they were like, oh, why don't you, you know, you, you make a character for, like, like your subs, like, you know, for a certain tier. I'm like, because I don't want to do them dirty because I am terrible at making people look like people. So I just let somebody else do the work and go in and be like, oh, that's perfect. This one, this one, this one's the one. But anyways, I digress. Um, like I said, the, the goths are here. And only thing really involving the goths is that the daughter was one of um, Chance's little boobs back in the day. Not no more. I'm pretty sure she's over it. Pretty sure. I'm not clicking in there because I clicked in there the other day to do like a welfare check. And that's like all the little checks that I keep having to go do and stuff. And they take me going to visit people's houses there is one of my favorites and then it had my favorites well over like three three over like 300 and i'm like oh and i think that's why a lot of the sims are just spontaneously dying and people are getting put out of their houses yeah anyway so this one the no shit house like this is you know mm, we can we can cover that one, you know. Well, okay, we'll, we'll we'll talk about this first. This is the Moreland residence. Uh, it's Alexis Moreland, which you know she's evil. She, oh, I don't know. I made her adopt a kid. I don't know who the kid is. Like I have no idea who this kid is. Who are your kid? His name is Otis. It's Otis. I moved them from this lot to this lot. And gave them like a slightly bigger house because it was just one floor, so that I could have this lot for Eric Dom and his one bedroom wonder. Anyway, so you know she's evil and she has another son who is the ex boyfriend of one of the Morrison grandkids. Yeah, one of the Morrison grandkids. As he left him for his uncle. I talk about that more in a different video. We're not going to... Well, two different videos, actually. We're not going to get in that one too much um, here. But, yeah. She's the evil lady that raised that. Anyway. um, <clears throat> I didn't know who that is. They got a lot of dogs. They got six dogs. All right. Yep, sure. Um, yeah, like I said, celebrities be living their life. This one, I moved them out of their house for somebody, so somebody else could move in like forever ago. I don't know why they didn't get put out their house, but they put. Not only did they put the Spencer Kims out, like after his wife cheated on him with somebody in the Bubble household or somebody's. Uh, in the Bubbles household. And then, you know, she agreed to leave her husband for one of them. And then he was like, nope, I don't want you. Because, um, you know, he's, he's like, he's like, we don't do that. He was like, why would I, he's like, why would I be with you after you agreed wholeheartedly to leave your husband for me? It's like, you'll do that to me too. And I'm not putting myself in that situation. So, yeah. I guess I can move them back in. Whatever. Um... The little girl also needs a new mom. I'll look into that as well. So, yeah, like I said, this house, the no shit house. I don't know why I named it no shit. Um, really have no clue. Damn, they adopted a dog already? I just said, I just put that in the stories today. Anyway, so, yeah. See, you got a Kazuhito Narita and you got Hisashi Kinoshita. Um... Like I said, you'll find anime characters in there. Hike you, hike, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, they're just roommates. They they're roomies. Um, 
both of them share a baby mama. Possibly multiple conquests because for some odd reason, girls just go over there and they be like, oh, yeah. They be like, ooh, your friend, fine, too. And it's like, pause. Wait, wait, wait. Say, so, yeah, that's the thing. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I guess we can go there. Yeah, because the only, like I said, the only people really here to discuss this house and that house. Everything else is kind of in, so yeah, I guess we can get into it here. I like the stargazer loud. Wasn't he at the wedding? I can't remember. <coughs> I'm joking. All right. Why is he uncomfortable? So if you don't want to play chess, why the hell are you playing chess? Oh, he is here. Yeah, see, he was at the wedding. That's why he all dressed up. He all suited and booted. Anyway, nobody in this game is innocent. Well, there's one person in this game that's kind of innocent. But even him, he's not that innocent because... He just kind of sat by and watched things happen before he took a stand. So, oh look, see, he only got, he only has the one, the singular child, Bo, Bo Nishidake. Yeah, and it's it's just so interesting to me because I I feel like the game don't pay no attention because it's like you look and it's like oh yeah. Yeah, he do. He got a he got a mocha frappuccino baby, but like, from where? From where? Also, like I said, I, I still have to figure it out. This and this same person, same person. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. He, he impregnated the neighbor. He let her sweet talk him into to, to having too fun of a time. Now this one, also not exactly innocent. I mean, yes and no. Was she wrong? Yeah, she was wrong as hell for it. They also didn't know it first. She tricked them. But as you can see here, he got three kids. Adriana, Aiden, and then Eddie. Eddie is his newest baby with, um, well, Mela. So, yeah, because she got two kids, and so he got three. And they're not twins. He did this dumb shit twice. Yeah, he, he did the dumb shit twice. I will uh not lie for him on that. How is Nick a subtle? Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, they're best friends. Apparently, they got to a point where they don't mind sharing everything, <sighs> including the psycho baby mama. But like I said, we will get into that more so in her video. Which will be the last one that I do from here just because um, I want to get the other ones out the way before I sit down and go through, work my way through the metric shit ton of crap that is her story. <clears throat> so yeah, um, yeah, that's literally all it is about them. Like I said, there's not a lot to, a lot to tell, um. One day, Mela came walking, and she came, and she was hanging out with them. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, just shooting the shit and whatever. And uh, I believe Gina is the one that, no, not Gina. Wait, when the hell did they get close to Gina? 
Was it Gina? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gina used to come over here and hang out with them. Because those are the homies. I was like, wait. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Gina. Okay. And, um... Also, he's kind of got a thing now with Cassandra Goth. I mean, not much has come of it yet. It has, but it hasn't. Because they were friends since, like, high school. He was also one of the... The, the jocks in that little, you know, group and hung out with like, sir, stop playing then. Hung out with Chase and all of that. And, you know, he stopped hanging out with Chase when he saw how Chase was like dogging all the women out and things of that nature. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's how that ended. Um. Ooh, hiccup. Same Kazuhito. It's just like, yeah, no, not my cup of tea. Oh, it's 8 in the morning. Sir, how you sitting down watching TV when you're supposed to be at work? And how you don't even have no job? <laughs> Ew, don't you see it? Oh, disgusting. Um... Did I give y'all a tea? Probably not. Probably not. Hold your sick ass horses. We gotta deal with this. Oh. Okay. I need to make a purchase. Mm. But yeah, like I said, there's not a whole lot to tell. Two things that I realized saved Sam's lives. One. And two. Like they dead ass be out here saving lives. Doing the Lord's work. Like, you ain't gonna starve today. You might burn the popcorn a couple of times trying to figure out how to get right, but you're gonna eventually get it. Ew, I don't like that. Okay, that's all I wanted to come by. So now, sir. I did not click the fireplace. Quit playing. Brew you a pot of healthy green tea. Is you thinking about illnesses? Well, if you don't like it, go do something. Sir, that's not what I told you to do. Well, that's one way to get into the kitchen, I suppose. here walking outside I'm not scared of the tea maker mm. also this dog ain't got nothing I can't leave from here do not take care of the doggo no worries, doggy. I got you. I got you, doggy. I got you. Dun 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 Let me figure out where I'm gonna put this. Doggy, we gonna put you over here. This is now your space. Near the fireplace. Uh. You ain't that big. Let me get you the meat bed. Let me 
get you a toy box. And you need food. Where can I put it? I can put it right. It should be okay right there, I think. I hope. If not, we're going to find out. Uh, and so downstairs hang out. <coughs> Upstairs. <coughs> you have your big bed over here. Okay. And you can have you some toys right there too. So you don't have to go all the way downstairs. There we go. I think you'd be uncomfortable because you're hot or something. <laughs> What's wrong, doggy? Serene Dapa, Arvinoi, Huizo Stayib. So he wasn't sick, he was just thinking about illness. Okay. I'm good. I'd be paranoid where everybody gonna be sick. I'm like, nope. Keep your diseases to yourself. So, like I said, not much going on here. That's literally everything that, that happened here. They're not involved that, that that much. You know, there's not really a lot of connections to people. I mean, like the main quote-unquote players. But other than that, there's not too much going on with them. They both um, got caught up in some shit. And are attempting to move on with their lives. That's all there is. So yeah. Like I said this house and this house are the only ones left to discuss. And there will be two separate videos to cover those. So yeah. Um, that's it for this installment. Um, I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>